Hi right, guys, so this video is going to be about uh, a burl tarantula care. So, I only, I'm only going to explain the ones that I actually keep. So, we have a Vicularia, which are suitable for the beginners. Salmopoas and uh, Tapakinius, which serves to intermediate and expert. And Hedoscadra, Stromatopelma, and Pocotheria are the experts only. And they are venomous. And that skull says they are. Eek. Okay, so... <clears throat> Evicularias are the pink toes. So, I'll get my pink toe specimen. Uh, we'll take little London. <clears throat> so, as in my tarantula uh, tutorial video for the enclosures... This is pretty much what a vehicle area setup should look like. You can have a little taller critter keeper, uh, that's fr pretty much fine. So as long as you provide a lot of climbing space, um, it should be fine. So a lot of tarantulas don't see very far, so you don't need technically need large enclosures. So what I would do is um, take a water dish, um, put some substrate in here, Substrate I recommend is uh, potting soil mixed with vermiculite. So take your potting soil and take two cups of vermiculite and you just mix it together. For this one, you probably need like half a cup. There's not much substrate in there because arboreal um, don't really burrow uh, as they're adults and as adults. So only slings like to burrow. So that's pretty much it. So basic temperatures, uh, I would keep them around 80 degrees Fahrenheit. Humidity around 80%. Uh, this also applies to the Versicolor, the Purpurea, the Branchoscheni, uh, the Menatrix, and all the other Vicular species. They can be pretty much kept the same way. So they're very docile, very handleable, very slow. They can jump though if they, if they get spooked a lot. But on the whole, very good tarantula if you're into arboreals, and this, if this will be your first tea, I recommend this one. Very nice. Okay, so now Samopoas. I'll get one of them out. I have four of them, which are Eurinia, Pulker, Reduncus, and... Oh, sweet! I actually got a molt. Awesome! This is my Samopoas Armenia, the Venezuelan Sun Tiger. Oh, God, it's huge! Look at that! Beautiful! Beautiful. I was expecting her to molt, so... God, she's so pretty. I mean, look at the Nike stripes. Tell me that's not beautiful. Okay, so... Anyway, so... That was pretty exciting. I love that. That was actually really, really nice. So, Samopovises are a bit more on the aggressive side. Um, they're very, very fast, and they're quick to bite. They don't have urticating hair. Uh, the vicularias do have urticating hair. The only way to get in contact with it if, is if you actually handle the tarantula. But they're very unlikely to shed their hairs. They're more... For vicularias, they'll use their poop cannons, where they actually squirt poop at you, and with good aim. They have, they have, they're very accurate when they do that. So... Some opposes don't even do that. They don't even have urticating hair. So they're like, in a sense, old world. So that's why a lot of people consider some opposes to be old worlds because they lack urticating hair. But they're really new worlds because they originate from Venezuela and um, Panama, Costa Rica, and um, Trinidad and Tobago. So this is the way to keep a some opposes. Um, you can keep it like a vicularia. They, they like it slightly less humid. I would say 75, 75 to 85% humidity. I would say 78 to 80, which should be fine for humidity. Uh, temperature 75 to 80 degrees Fahrenheit. 
But mind you, you shouldn't hand you should not handle these species because they're very aggressive. And they're you can have some do docile specimens, but I wouldn't endorse handling these tarantulas because they can bite and their venom is more on the average side than most. So you just want to be careful when handling with this species. So in other words, you could just keep like an avicularia. Just their temperament is different, they're more faster, and they're slightly more aggressive than your avicularis. So, uh, now we're going to go on to the Tapnikinius. So I have a uh, one species, I have the Gigas, which is coincidentally the largest uh, tarantula of the genus. So these are called orange tree spiders. So here they are. Pretty much keep them like a salmopoas. Uh, there we go. Keep them like a salmopoas. This is actually cracked, so she's okay for a couple of molts until three inches, and I'll actually change the substrate, uh, the whole tank. So these guys can be kept like a salmopoas, except these guys are lightning, lightning fast. They are really fast, I, and I can't guarantee you they're faster than pokies. So I'm going to be pretty scared of this one when it actually gets an adult because they are pretty quick. And it, their bite is not that bad. Um, my friend GIR3393 got bitten by the species and he says it felt like fire for the first 20 minutes and then it goes away. So um, not a pretty spider to get bitten by but on the whole um, I recommend this for anyone who wants to get into pokies. So. Uh, these guys are not as common, but you can find them in online dealers. So, I recommend this genus um, if you want to get into pokies, but you don't want the uh, idea of having potent venom. So, I recommend more of the Salopoas because they're more readily available than the Tapanikinus. Okay, so now we're going to go move on to the old world. So, that includes Hedescadra. Poclotheria and Stromatopelma. So I'll show you my Pedoscotra maculata. This is the, called the Togo Starbers baboon. So here he is, a little juvie. These guys like it a little bit drier, so you could add, you could just miss the tank once and keep it at least 75 to 80 degrees Fahrenheit. Don't handle baboons because they are very quick to bite and uh, they don't have urticating hair since the old world so their venom makes uh, mix up for it so you w tend to not want to handle the species I know like um, us in users like um, meaningless endeavor and um, there's another one medicine ha man HB and uh, there was a third one I forgot what his what his name is uh, you really shouldn't have and Kakosroff you sh really shouldn't attempt to handle the species unless you really know what you're doing because um, if you get bitten by that um, it's gonna be your fault and the venom is pretty serious and it could actually put you in the hospital for a couple of days depending on your reaction because a lot of people react to different bites like people who are allergic to bees are bees things are more likely allergic to tarantulas so you really better be careful especially when you're handling the species because these guys bolt on I mean they seriously take off they're really freaking fast but on the word they're more docile than the one I'm going to be showing you next okay next one I'm going to show you is Stromatopelma calcium which is the feather like baboon uh, pretty much my most dangerous spider, excuse me, pretty much the most dangerous spider that I have. So here he is. Uh, you won't be able to see it. Uh, right, I don't know if you see it, right? There's legs right there, it's hardly, it's hardly ever visible. Uh, no. Okay. These guys have very very potent venom. I think they're more pot slightly more potent than Hedescotch Michaelata. These guys are really really aggressive and I mean they will actually come at you than 
run away from you. So you really want to be careful when handling the species because these guys are more more aggressive than others. So pretty much keep them like a had a scotch or macalata, same care. Um, they like it slightly drier, so mist once a week, um, provide a water dish. Uh, when it gets larger, put, put some cave or climbing space for when it gets a borrowed. So this is a sling, so this is pretty suffice. So like I, I left her to um, make the webster for herself, so that's pretty interesting. Okay, and then the last one is the Pocletheria genus, which is the Pokies, or the Ornamentals. A lot of people love these tarantulas, and I have to say I'm one of the favorites of Pocletherias because of their abdominal pat because of their patterns and really, really awesome looking. So, this is my favorite one of all. This is a Pocletheria Metallica. These are known as the Goody Sapphire Ornamentals. Pretty much very expensive in the hobby. Very rare also. So pretty much this is how I keep a Pocletheria. I provided a firewood from outside. I cured it by put by soaking in water and putting it in the microwave for about five minutes to kill off the germs. Add some substrate, not too much. Add some decorations, wouldn't hurt. Add a water dish, and voila, that's a perfect arboreal setup for a Pocletheria. Mind you, when they get larger, you're going to have to get tall, very tall enclosures because they get big, at least. Uh, Metallica gets about six to seven inches, but uh, the Ornata and Rufolata get like at least nine or ten, a good nine or ten inches. And if you want to get uh, like um, Lampropelma violi siopis, which is the Singapore blue, it gets equally as big as the Ornata Rufolata. So you would have to get like a... 10 inch enclosure, uh, 10 gallon enclosure, something similar to my regalis tank for to house a species like that. So pretty much 10 gallon tank flip on its side. Um, I did this in my enclosure tutorial, so I'll do it here again. So water dish, put a uh, pesky glass so that substrate doesn't fall off. I use uh, vermiculite, straight vermiculite. That's fine. Serves as an excellent uh, humidity. It helps keep it keep it up. And then you keep um, cave so that so it can hide. Some climbing space, some fake leaves if you wish. And pretty much that's about it. So let me just close this up. So I'll show you my Pocletheria ornata. Ah, uh, Metallica. Because everyone loves the spider, so. Ooh. Yeah, this guy's fat. Mind you, it doesn't look very colorful. Okay. So here's what she looks like. It doesn't look very nice, but look at that. You shine light on it. You can see blue. Alright, so that's my video of my arboreal tea care. So, hope you enjoyed it. Next video is going to be about the partnership. So, see you guys.